Hey everyone, it's Matt here from the Bicker Bunch. We are at North Mountain Brewing off of 7th Street and Dunlap in Phoenix, Arizona. We are invited in here to try some of their beers and some of their food. Let's go. So the first one we have up here is called the Cream Golden Ale. It's a golden ale brewed with oats, rye, and Arizona Desert Blossom honey, giving an extra flavor to this easy drinking ale. The name Cream is an acronym and a tribute to the head brewer's family. Cream. Is it creamy? It is. It's really good. Oh, that's good. Really, really good. It's amazing. <laughs> Holy. I can get some of that to take home. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's like it's refreshing, too. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good. good beer. All right. That is excellent. Yeah. Like, so, the cream golden ale. Really, really yeah, good. Really good. Yeah. Whoever wants to finish that, I definitely I give, it, give it a 10 out of 10 on that. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a really good start. All right. The uh, cream gold nail was absolutely amazing. Yeah, absolutely. That thing was great. No, that's, uh, that's a good beer. So next one we got is Groovin' with the Picked. Uh, a dark Scottish ale with a malty finish highlighted by a hint of smoke. Bring on the small furry animals. <laughs> Definitely smoky. I mean, it looks smoky. I mean, just look at the color of it. Yeah. I like that. It's, yeah. yeah. It's definitely... It's good. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got a stronger, like, strong smoke finish. Yeah. Uh, I've had a lot of Scottish ales before, but I've never had one that actually tastes smoky. <laughs> I just, like, on the bring, bring on the small fairy animals. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Man, we're two for two. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> So far, North Mountain Bruins got it going. Yeah, no. Hey, I mean, it's Scottish ales they usually aren't my favorite. I mean, <laughs> yes. It's pretty good. Oh, this one's good. Really, really good. All right, so this next one we're going to try is the Harden Ale Red. Uh, an American red with Amarillo hop aroma plus a dash of malt flavor from chocolate and crystal malts. Officially, the unaffiliated beer of the Arizona Cardinals. Go Cardinals, unless you're playing the Titans. Then don't go. Mm. It kind of has a smoky look to it, too. But... It does. It's got a little hoppy aftertaste. A little too hoppy for me. It's my new favorite beer. I like yeah. that a lot. Like, a lot. That's yeah. really good. So Nick's like this, Nick likes this one. It is. It's kind of. I like that a lot. It's got a big hoppy flavor to it, for sure. Yeah. But it's kind of like malty. Oh, I mean, it cools it, it down enough. It's definitely. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a red. Like, I, I, I kind of like it because it's, it doesn't have the, the like super bitterness of an IPA, but you can still taste the hops a little bit. Yeah. That's why I usually. That's why I usually red reds are about as far as I usually go the IPA. Oh, yeah, the IPA tour, like range. Oh, we got four IPAs coming up. So. Yeah, I will be happy. I know you guys will might struggle, but I mean, I'm sure like it, it usually turns out like if there's like four or five of them, I usually like one. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. It's usually one that just has like a random good flavor to it. Let me get another sip of that one. Yeah, Try yeah I like that a lot. It's good though. Good yeah, red. No, excellent. That is excellent beer. I like that. A no, lot. It's definitely a really good red. All right. So this one is the Kelly Mist West Coast Hazy IPA. Uh, I am not a fan of IPAs at all. So I will send this one to Nick first. Do you want me to do this? Do do this? All right. I mean, I do like. I'll get it on the back end. The description's pretty good though. Especially when it says Helen Marley. 
Actually, I like it a lot. It's, yeah, so it's hella gnarly, man. It's not overbearing to me. So at least to me, it's not, but this is used to IPA, so. A West Coast spin on a hazy IPA style. This yeah. light and slightly toasty malt fill blends nicely with the low bitterness of late kettle hop additions. Yeah, it's not super bitter. So what's the spin? West Coast hops. Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, and Zythos hops give a soft, drinkable, East Coast hazy IPA a definite West Coast vibe. Hella gnarly. Wouldn't that make it like a like middle, like middle of the country? Like, it's like a flyover IPA. That's actually not awful. I said, I do not like IPAs at all, but that one's not bad. No, it's... It's it's like beer. That it, one tastes just like a regular. I mean, beer. it's really good up until like the very last aftertaste. Yeah, right. It's got that hoppy aftertaste but, in the back. I mean, back, but I, I, mean really don't enjoy the I mean, compared beer. to compared to a lot of my like, especially hazy, hazy IPAs that I've had, man, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. you get that haze. It's it's the it's the afterbite that just gets me. Like, yeah, right. That's just that, like that, that little that little mass of bitterness at the end. See, I don't find it bitter at all. I don't but maybe I just have a weird bitterness setting. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I think it's just because oh, your taste buds have been destroyed over the years. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right, next up we have a Kolsch. And the title of it is just Kolsch with an exclamation point at the end in all capitals. It's brewed to be clean and refreshing. Kolsch is the perfect beer for early summer, which it is right now. It's insanely hot. Mm. And it's not even early summer yet. Uh, light, light in color and body, adjusting to the early summer sun has never been tastier. The base beer for our Blackberry Colch. Try them side by side. It's really good. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it almost looks like champagne. It does, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep this one over here. This is... Thank you. We gotta let Nick try it. Yeah, no, I'll let you kill that one. Yeah, this one's really, really good. That's literally the champagne of beers. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice. Good, yeah. This is it's good. just a nice kind of refreshing so, beer, especially for... It goes down easy, man. Yeah, especially for the time of the year it is here in Phoenix when, you know, we've already had five days over 115. <laughs> yeah. I want to try the black. It's, it's nice refreshing. One yeah. No, I don't know. It's not up here. But this one's really good. I like it. The Kolsch. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> it's excellent. Uh, so this one is the Happy Kraut Marzan Lager. Our Marzan is lagered in the tank for an extended period of time before release, bringing a little German tradition home. This malt-accented beer features Pilsner, Munich, and Vienna malts alongside German yeast, plus Hallertau and Tan Tetanger hops, and is definitely German beer purity law compliant, because I <laughs> absolutely can't say that word. None of, none of us know how to say that word whatsoever. Yeah, sorry Germans. We're not German. If you're German, you know exactly what word we're talking about. That's good. It's got a. It's got a different flavor. Like. It smells almost fruity. It kind of almost tastes fruity. I don't know. It almost tastes like a like almost like a fruity red ale. Yeah, kinda. Really good though. Yeah, it tastes like a good German beer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's that's really good. I figured it would be. That's a good beer. I feel so fancy drinking out of these glasses. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, so far, North Mountain Brewery, you're rocking it. Yeah. yeah it's Food's it. awesome, too. <laughs> <Food is excellent. laughs> All right. So this next one is the King Brutus Triple Brute IPA. Yeah. So King Brutus, the legendary Trojan warrior, freed Trojan slaves from Greece, then traveled north to <laughs> found the site that would grow to become London. So is this beer a Roman or British-inspired ale? Neither. We just thought it was a cool name. Partially tequila barreled aged with plenty of malt and a ton of hops. This big beer is definitely worthy of the name. So this is a 11% ABV. 
Um, so when they say big beer, it's definitely a big beer. I like it, but damn. Yeah, that is <laughs> like a, you can smell the alcohol. Yeah, you can taste it. It's almost got like a little alcohol burn in the I mean, it, it looks like liquor. Yeah, it has a slight. It's got that little, yeah, that boozy burn in the back. It's not bitter. It's actually all. pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's weird because, like, normally with an IPA, I get this real bitter aftertaste in the back, and that's why I don't like that's, IPAs. That's I mean, smooth. I mean, it does remind me of like, I mean, drink like almost like drinking like a really weak shot. I mean, yes, yeah. that's, that's what it feels like. Yeah, and uh, you definitely get the tequila notes in there too. Oh, I definitely like it has it has a good flavor. It does. Yeah. It's not a. I was expecting a triple IPA for me to just like spit take it, but <laughs> it's, it's outstanding. Yeah. It's strong. I don't know if I'll kill that one so quickly. I mean, <laughs> it is like it's definitely strong. It's not. I mean, bad I mean, personally, like with all the choices, I had, I wouldn't, I wouldn't order it. But I mean, it's, it's not bad. What's funny is it's got 106 IBUs. It's really insane. Fox. It <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, look, look at all the other ones. Yeah, right. 35, <laughs> 33, 29. 24, I mean, 24. what's their IPA list? Uh, uh, 42, 81 for the double. Yeah, doubles are. Yeah. So this uh, triple IPA, like I, I definitely get notes of the tequila in it. Um, it, it gets a thumb up from like, non non IPA. It is it's actually probably the best IPA, like to me that I've ever had. I think it's it's actually good. It's good. It's damn good. I like <laughs> it a lot. It's actually good. All right. So this next one is baby guava, guava and passion fruit added to our baby Belgian recipe, creating a refreshing fruit beer. Spanish for beautiful, Baby Guapa delivers a bright tropical fruit profile that fantasizes the Tropic of Belgium. I will give you first tasting, since this is probably your area. Your ultimate style of beer. Oh, God. It's delicious. Yeah? <laughs> it's such a good, like, you can definitely taste the, you actually taste the guava. Like. I love guava. Oh, you can smell it, too. That is, uh, hog juice and all that. I love, like, anything with guava in it. Ooh, it's actually very good. That is good. It's really good. I mean, that's something I could, I could drink that on a hot day. Like, Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, that yeah. one's really, really good. There's, I've had beer so with guava in it before, pod juice style kind of beers, and man, I love them. But we will let Brandon finish that one since I finished the last. Yeah. Extremely strong one. <laughs> so, baby oh. guapa. 6.2 ABV. A little punchy. Yeah. Really good, though. Definitely yeah. lends it to its name. It's beautiful. It is. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Okay. So we have the Happy Little Flower Hazy IPA. The use of cubic yeast is no happy little accident. In fact, it helps this beer boast tasty tropical notes made from the combination of majestic malts and heavenly hops. This juicy IPA will make you a happy little flower, too. Wimps. Are you ready to be a happy little flower, Nick? Nick is a happy little flower. Is Nick a happy little flower? <laughs> that is a very much an IPA, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt. There's a bitterness there. At the end. But it's still uh. really good. Yeah, it's not that upfront. I punch thought it was quite bitterness. good. It's definitely fruity. There's a no, yep. not <laughs> me. That's a little too much. I keep telling you, Matt, you're a clever. You gotta love freaking. <laughs> no, I mean, things. that's not one I would. See, it's it's not like the other. It's not like the other one where like you got good flavor and then the, you got that little punch, like bitterness punch at the end. Like that one's just like straight up just. There's a lot it's just, of it's just bitter. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. There's a lot of bitterness to it. The first time I didn't get much, but the second sip, I, I definitely got a lot of so, bitterness. Tell our viewers, Nick cannot taste bitter whatsoever. I like it. You're wrong. Anything. I mean, I, I like it. It tastes fine. It tastes good. It tastes like a lot of other IPAs. I mean, out of as far as IPAs go, this tastes like a lot of. Yeah. I mean, I like I like the Cali. Mist a lot one. of hazy. It, it's a hazy IPA. Yeah. The Cali Mist one was pretty good. The, the Happy Little one is. It's a little much for yeah, me. The yeah, the Cali one was yeah, actually yeah. really good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's awful, but it's not. Well, it is. It is actually a lot more bitter. The Cali Mist was IBU is a thirty five, and this one's a forty two. Oh, is it? So it definitely yeah. is a, a a much more bitter beer. It is good. I liked it. I liked uh, it a lot. 
six point zero ABV, so it's actually less than the Cali Mist. Is it? Just barely. Yeah. yeah. Kind of weird. All right. All right. Nick liked it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this one is called Peach Culling the Kettle Sour. It is a brown brown beer base kettle soured and fermented with a Belgian yeast. Uh, take on a beer we had a bit back. This beer features peach and apricot in a kettle soured base beer. Mm. Sounds delicious. Delicious. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? That's delicious. Yeah. That's really, really good. It's definitely got the sour flavor. Like the sour is there for sure. It actually almost tastes like a lemon candy. It does, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, my, that may be the, the peach and apricot working together. It's Maybe, kind of yeah. yeah. That taste. It's good. I do like it. Let's yeah. try another sip of this. Very, uh, it's not, to me, it's not sour at all. I don't yeah. see. Now you can kind of get, you, you don't really taste the sour dairy. Like, it's kind of like an aftertaste. Yeah. Like, yeah even that after I. No, I definitely sour. get the sour in the aftertaste. It's do good, you? though. Maybe my taste buds are just numb. Probably. This is what happens when you get old, folks. Your taste buds just become numb. Or you just eat TV dinners and drink IPAs all the time. Yeah, I can definitely. Or that. Actually, I can taste the apricot more than the peach. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting the apricot flavor. I do like it, though. It's good, though. Good beer. Peach calling the kettle sour. TV dinners, but that's okay. Because it's become our thing. It is. Uh, all right, so we're 10 beers in, 10 samples in at the North Mountain Brewing Company here. And so far, I don't think we've had anything. That is even remotely offensive. No, no not at all. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't really like so the. I didn't really like the, the uh, food. The, the one they ate. These, uh, uh, as you've been probably noticing throughout the video, these the pretzels will be getting smaller and smaller. That's that stuff. To awesome. And the lumpia is just all and gone. The lumpia is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's amazing. It's so good. It is. Yeah. I, I like it here. It's nice. It all makes me happy. <laughs> all right, this one is the left-handed monkey wrench hazy IPA. This hazy IPA is brewed to drink light, but with plenty of flavor. The addition of biscuit, aromatic, and light crystal malts give balance to this very drinkable IPA. Late hop additions of Equinox, El Dorado, and Mosaic hops, plus tropical fruit notes from the yeast, steal the show. All you really need is a left-handed monkey wrench. I don't know. What Definitely that is. smells very IPA. I do smell a lot of tropical though. I smell a lot of tropical and IPA in this tropical IPA. I just get a lot of IPA though. Do you? Yeah. That's probably definitely one for you. <laughs> As he continues to go back. It's a, it's a thing. I think it's a very mild IPA. But it's a thing. I do taste IPA. a little bit of the fruit here. Yeah, exactly. there's a lot of fruit in there, but I, I do get that. I do get the bitterness. Like the, at the end, you get the bitterness. But no, I got it the whole time. Did you get it the whole time? <laughs> yeah. These are just wimps. <laughs> it's a lot more smooth than the other one, though. Yeah, it is. Like, I can taste a little bit of bitterness, but yeah, like, it's a lot more smooth than the, the Happy Little Flower was. Like, yeah, the Happy, happy Little Flower is kind of harsh. Happy Little Flower is like a punch in the face. But, but this is yeah. lower alcohol too, and but lower bitterness. I can definitely taste a lot more. It's a lot more. Uh, it's not bitter, bitter to me at all. It's this definitely is, a lot more fruity. Like, this like, is uh, five point four ABV and twenty eight IBUs. Yeah, I mean that's it's almost half of it. Yeah, right, and it's like a quarter of the uh, the King Brutus. See, the King Brutus to me wasn't bitter. At uh, all. No, nah. I think it was because it was cut by the tequila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was excellent. But I didn't. That's why it was like 108. I'm like, that's. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that be like King Brutus, like not, not solely the tequila cast would probably be like insanely strong. Oh yeah, yeah, it'd be probably crazy bitter. But since they age it, they keep the tequila cast. It kind of gets that you know, tequila is just made from agave, so it's kind of sweet anyway. That was excellent. Yeah. I yeah. liked it. I liked it. Yeah, no, actually, it's really good. Nick approved. It's a very smooth. That was a very smooth yeah. idea. That's a that's a lot smoother. Yeah. yeah, it was. It I, was. Would, I would actually I would actually rank that above the Cali Mist. 
Uh, I don't yeah. know, I really like that Cali one, but... Yeah, I would too. All right, this next one is the Neurotic Belgian Strong. Neurotic Belgian Strong is bigger than a Belgian triple, lighter than a quad. It is neurotic. Just be careful. That 10.2 APV hides itself really well. It actually does. <laughs> you get a little bit of that. You get a little bit of that alcohol taste in there, but yeah. it's... It really it's just... Like a good Belgian beer. Yeah, it just tastes like a really good Belgian beer. Yeah. But, I mean, it'll kick your ass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, it yeah, is. It's good. It almost, it almost tastes like liquid banana bread. Kind of. Have you ever had banana bread beer? Yeah. Yeah, really good. I mean, that's really good. Like, it is, like it. yeah. It's definitely it's, got that, like, it's, really it's definitely got that, like, it's, yeasty. It's got, it's got the yeasty, like, it's, like I said, like, sweet. It's like, like, sweet yeast. Yeah. It's really good. But, yeah, that thing will freaking knock you out. 10.2. Yeah. <laughs> Again, folks, drink responsibly. Always. And drink plenty of water, especially when it's 180 degrees outside. Uh, it's only like 112 today. It's not that bad. It's only 115. It's yeah, hell. Like it's, it's hell on earth. It's only 115. Uh, all right. This one is the Malay Double IPA. This IPA is directed at the hop head in all of us. Nope. <laughs> With a clean malt bill to allow the hops to lead the charge, this double IPA is what you need when you need hops. Would you like me to? Here you go. Here I go. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna belay that order. Yeah, belay my last. <laughs> well, it's hoppy as fuck, but it's good. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. No, but it's hoppy. I'm really worried when like that's a super hoppy, hoppy beer. beer. I'm, I'm absolutely terrified right now. Oh. Yeah, it's hoppy. I like it. That is bitter. <laughs> Come on, I drank it. You Come gotta on, do man. it too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. That's too much for me. It is. That is entirely way too much for me. These are well. a bunch of wimps. Uh, it's good beer. I like it. 8.0 ABV. <laughs> I might want to be careful. And 81 IBUs. I definitely get that. That is, uh, there's a lot of bitterness to that. I mean, I can definitely tell, like, yeah. like I, people that love IPAs are going to love that. But, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, yeah. Now, if you're an IPA drinker and you love that poppy, bitter taste, then this is probably the one for you. If you're like me and you absolutely cannot stand the hoppy, bitter taste. Well, that's, the, that's the thing about I mean, beer. It's always say, kind of a beer for everyone. Yeah, yeah. There I mean, is, I do have know. to say that, like, that's probably what the triple IPA would taste like if it wasn't cut with tequila. Probably, yeah. Probably. It's probably the tequila mellowed out, like, but that, oh my god. Yeah, that's uh, that's strong on the I IPA flavors for sure. But it has the Nick seal of approval, which is really all that matters for IPAs. I, was really, yep. I liked it, but if, uh, if Nick actually, and, I like that one a lot. It's if Nick and Papa Grape like an IPA, then it's probably good for an IPA. <laughs> all right, so this one is the Imperial Soul Imperial Brown. Imperial Soul Imperial Brown, a taste of chocolate and dark caramel sugars. The imperial version of our popular James Brown Ale. The first beer ever brewed at North Mountain Brewery. It's James Brown Imperial Soul. Aged for really over good. a year. Really good. Very malty. It has 8% AP, APV. So. Uh, definitely got that like very malty and definitely has a chocolate taste to it. I mean, I can just, yeah. look, I can just look at it until it has a chocolate taste to it. Yeah, very. It's yeah. not bad. I like it. I'm not a big overly malted guy. I'm like... The guy who drinks all the hops in the world, but when it comes to the malts, I'm not. But I do like it's really like it has that. good flavor. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. It's really smooth. Yeah, it that's does. Like a smoky, that's, that's, malts that's always, to me give a smoke. Probably flavor. I get with a lot of like a lot of beers like this when they're like the super dark ones. They sometimes get like out of hand. Yeah, yeah. it just tastes like you're drinking like. Sludge. Like that first one we drank last weekend. That one hit me. That first yeah, one. yeah. Like, Whoa. The second beer related. I mean, this is this is like. I mean, I would. I would drink. I would order this like with a dessert or something. Yeah, right, right. That's not a that's not a beer that you're just kind of like. I wouldn't just drink that, you know, when I'm just running around the house or anything like that. But uh, it's I like it. It's really good. Definitely has the chocolate though. I, no, it's good. It's I taste the chocolate probably flavor. more than anything else. Yeah, I, mean, I think the chocolate, chocolate and caramel kind of give it a, a, a almost like a coffee flavor almost. A little bit, yeah, a little bit, like a weak, like a weak coffee. Yeah, that's really good. This is all beer right. nineteen out of sixteen. <laughs> uh, all right, this is the old school, 
Pilsner, uh, one I was actually looking forward to because not enough breweries nowadays just do a really good Pils. Uh, so this is a straightforward classic Pilsner. What makes it so old school? The use of 100% two-row German barley. No rice, no corn. Add in an extension, extended aging and the fermenter or lagering, and you have an old school Pilsner. I mean, just with the, bu- the bubbles looking at it, it just makes me happy. Just... Yeah, it's good Pils. It's a good Pils. Uh, it's it. it's, it's, it's just... uh. Oh. That's yeah. really good. It's, yeah. Like I said, it's straightforward. Yeah, right. There's nothing special about it or anything like that. It's just a good Pilsner. And, and it's hard to find. That's it is. one of my favorite beers. I mean, it, is what, it makes it special. Is there's nothing special about it. Uh, right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, like, so it's, I'm just happy. A, yeah that, it's just a good Pilsner. That's a good and Pilsner. I'm yeah, so happy. breweries kinda, out there, if you're watching us, give us a Pils. call and, you know, we can Please. come and do this at your brewery, too. Make uh, a freaking Pilsner. Make some Pilsners, man. They have, they're really, really Don't good. Don't make Bud Light. Just make a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good pills. All right. This one is our last beer uh, of our tasting today. And it is I've called, been most excited about the yeah, entire time. It is called the Wet Beaver Creek. A Belgian sour, spontaneous sour, not a kettle sour, with a firm tart cherry presence. Named in honor of Arizona's many beautiful creeks. This is what Brandon was looking forward to. It's good, right? It's an interesting flavor. Yeah, it had an interesting scent to it. And depending on, like, where you hold the light, like, you definitely get some, like, almost fruity-looking colors to it, right? It's almost like a sour freaking brown ale. Yeah, it is. Kind of an odd flavor there. We have a really good habit of having like a really weird flavored beer. We do. At the end. Every, every time, right? We end with this like... It is good though. It's actually really good. It's like a brown ale. It's like a sour brown yeah, ale. Yeah. A sour brown ale, weirdly. Like, I didn't think that was a thing, but... It's a good Not thing. Bad. Not bad. So that is... Uh, that is 16 beers that they have here at North Mountain Brewing uh, off of Dunlap and 7th Street in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, definitely come check this place out. Like, I don't, excellent. Yeah, we didn't have a single bad beer. All the food that we've had has been great, and the people have been great. Yeah, I mean, thanks a lot for, for even letting us in and being able to do this, too. We're really appreciative of it. Hey everyone, thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks a lot for North Mountain Brewing for letting us come out here and do this video. It was a lot of fun. Outstanding. Um, thank you for letting us sit inside because it's hot out Yeah, it's yeah. like 116 out today, so thanks for that too. Um, all the food was great, the beer was great. Definitely yeah. come check this place out. It's off of 7th Street and Dunlap in Phoenix. Amazing. Amazing do food. Do yeah. it. Amazing do it. everything. Do it now. It's really awesome. But right now. Have a good day. Bye.